from removing all cubes to creating a lightning tornado. Here are 29 ways to break Minecraft. Number one, how are these squids flying? Squids are meant for water, but with this glitch, they'll soar through the sky. To do this, grab a bunch of squids in a tight area and immediately they'll face through the walls and blow. Glow squids can do this too. And it looks very cool at night. Number two, if more than 24 mobs are squeezed into a single block, they start to take damage. This is because of entity cramming, but you can actually increase the 24 mob limit with a game rule. You can cram thousands of mobs in a single block, but if you let them out, something strange happens. All the squished entities push against each other and create an animal cannon. Wait, how did they go both ways? Number three, you can break end portals in survival mode. Blowing up or mining the frame will work, but for some reason, a mushroom will. Bone mealing it a few blocks away will grow the mushroom right through the portal frames. Good luck beating Minecraft on this world. Number four, what causes the biggest explosion and crystals withers maybe even tnt minecarts well it's actually none of them the largest explosions come from fireballs because unlike other explosions you can set the explosion power using commands they're so powerful that they can even blow up water but if you set the power too high your game will crash so be careful number five if you create a super flat world that's just tnt you'll have one of the greatest explosions ever you'll have an infinite chain reaction of tnt that'll only get laggier and laggier but if you create this world well, in survival mode, make sure a creeper doesn't explode. Uh oh. Ah! Number six. One of the coolest things in Minecraft is the lag machine. They utilize some of Minecraft's least known features to crash servers. There are all different kinds from bouncing armor stands to floating snowballs. My favorite is the minecart machine. It's super simple to make and is extremely destructive. Number seven. How do you get netherite stairs? In Minecraft's infinite snapshot, there is an item called the swaggiest stair ever. You aren't able to craft it, but you can find it in one of the infinite dimensions. Number eight. Don't break any blocks on this world. If you touch even one, the entire a world will fall apart. This is because the world is entirely sand with no blocks underneath. So if you break just one, it'll update the rest, creating a satisfying five seconds and a broken world. Number nine, Minecraft resource packs can change your game to look like anything you want. Whether it's having short swords, super detailed blocks, or this cool texture, but they can also make your game look way worse. This texture pack unloads every single texture and replaces it with an error. What does rain look like? Oh my. Number 10, the most satisfying way to break Minecraft is with illegal enchantments. By using commands, you can put fortune 1000 on a pickaxe and mining diamonds will drop a ton. You can also put looting 1000 on your swords to get pork chops for years. Ah, this is the life. Number 11. The double chest is nice, but the quad chest is even better. In older versions, you couldn't place more than two chests together. However, if you use the set block command, you could force another chest down. Doing so would reveal three inventories worth of storage. You can take this even further and set block four chests, creating a quintuple chest. There's so much storage that it gets cut off by the screen. Number 12, you can trap players in Minecraft's end credits. When you beat Minecraft, you enter a credit screen and then spawn back at your bed. But what if you could make someone stuck in the credits forever? Well, with a command block, you can teleport someone to the end portal, making them read the end poem for eternity. Number 13, this illegal portal was made in survival. Normally, when you break the obsidian, the portal breaks instantly, but with an update suppressor, you can freeze time. The suppressors overload Minecraft so much that you can break the obsidian without the game realizing. This is so broken. Number 14, I can't believe this block is in Minecraft. When you place snow on top of a grass block, the texture changes. But if you remove the snow on top, it looks like this. To get the snowy grass block, an enderman has to pick up a regular snow grass block. This works in version 1.16. And once the enderman places back the block, you'll be left with this cursed thing. If you want it in creative mode, you can just use a debug stick. Number 15, you can break bedrock with pistons. But did you know there's a way to get the actual item? This is one of the best and simplest ways to get it. On version 15W, 47C. First kill the ender dragon. Then while respawning it, you have to place and break the final end crystal instantly. Doing so will drop a piece of bedrock. One of the rarest items ever. Hooray! Whoops. Number 16. Have you ever wondered what's past the world border? You can see terrain past it, but you can't go further. Not even in spectator mode. But there's one way to reach the true end of the world. You need a pig and carrot on stick. And as you approach the world border, shrink it to go behind you. This will let you keep trotting until you reach the end. Over here, chunks no longer longer generate and it's just lank. Number 17. The furnace has unlimited fuel. Furnaces are really useful, but the problem is that you need to constantly refuel them. Luckily, you can make a carpet duper to infinitely fuel your furnaces. This contraption generates carpets at super speeds and lets you cook as many pork chops as you want. No more mining for coal or burning wood. Number 18. If you need to mine a huge area, you should use TNT dupers. For some reason, when you place coral and slime like this, it duplicates TNT. This is super overpowered and is every hardcore YouTuber's dream 
Team Item. Number 19. Redstone Ore can be very deadly. If you create a small box like this and spam XP bottles down, a lot of particles will come out. So much so that you may notice your frames dropping. But by disabling your particles, you can create a lag machine that only affects other people, giving you an advantage to anyone who comes near. <laughs> Number 20. You can ban players with hoppers. By filling a chunk with a bunch of hoppers, you'll cause anyone who loads it to instantly crash. They won't even be able to join back because they'll still be in the chunks. The only way to come back is if their layer data was wiped. This is evil. Number 21. You can't place water in the nether, right? Well, not exactly. There's actually a secret way to place water. And no, I'm not talking about a cauldron. In this 1.17 snapshot, placing glow lichen in lava for some reason formed water. You could then flood the nether and even grow crops. 22. This one block can permanently destroy your world. In creative mode, if you control click a chest, all the items will be saved in the chest. You can fill another chest with the safe chest, and then another one, and another one. Repeating this process will create a chest with so much data that the game won't be able to handle it. This is a slideshow. 23. This is the most cursed way to break Minecraft. By using the no cube mod, you can completely remove the cubes from the world. Creating rolling landscapes, circular caves, and realistic trees, the mod transforms Minecraft from a lock game to a... Okay, what is this? Bring me back. 24. You can crash Minecraft with just a flint and steel and a dispenser. Normally, the combo would light a nether portal, but not in this version. In 1.16.4, just flick this lever and you'll find yourself right at the launcher again. 25. If you give yourself a potion in creative mode, you'll get an uncraftable potion. But there is one place where you can get it. This potion can appear in survival in the achievement window for local brewery. 26. Did you know you can teleport mobs? Running this command will teleport the ender dragon right to you. But you can take this one step further and teleport every mob to your location, including things like boats and minecarts. The item frame looks pretty funky when you teleport it. I never knew it could be slanted. Number 27. You can make it rain arrows. When I shoot this arrow, more will fall down, creating a beautiful pattern. My favorite is shooting the arrow straight into the sky. To recreate this, just run the following command and you can even exchange the arrow tag with something like lightning. This is too cool. If you run the same command block multiple times, it'll create the lightning tornado. That's probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. 28. The slash TP command lets you teleport around your world, but it can also be used to paralyze your friends. With a repeating command block, teleport the player the same coordinates and they'll be stuck forever. Wait, how do I turn this off? Number 29. In all the Minecraft, there is one block you can enchant. This block is a non-wearable block, so pumpkins don't count. The answer is the jack-o'-lantern, and it can be enchanted with curses even though you can't wear it. Unfortunately, this was patched in 1.20, but if you were ever on an older version, it'd be a super cool trick. What's the best way to get sand? You can mine for hours with a shovel, or you can do this instead. This sand duper uses the end portal and falling sand to get 72,000 sand per hour. It can also do concrete powder as well as gravel. Yeah, I'm never mining again. Well, that's 29 ways to break Minecraft. Subscribe!